Why have you resisted calling for an independent inquiry as suggested, as demanded by the protesters? Is there something you're concerned about? I'm concerned about fairness and justice. As far as police operations and police behaviour are concerned, Hong Kong does have an equally independent and statutory mechanism to deal with that. The that has been fully debated when that particular piece of legislation, the Independent Police Complaints Council Ordinance, was enacted, that police will be subject to investigation on individual complaints. But why not an independent body? The bodies that you suggested have been said to lack investigative powers. Why not an independent body to do that? Now, one of the important principles that I have uh, adhered to in dealing with this uh, very difficult situation is we need to protect the institutional strengths of Hong Kong and to uphold the rule of law. So if we have already an independent statutory mechanism to deal with that sort of situation, and that mechanism must be put in place for a very good reason in the overall interest of Hong Kong, then simply because I need to respond to protesters' demands, and by the way, they have other demands which nobody could agree to. For example, an amnesty for everyone that has been arrested, committing very serious crimes of assaulting the police, arson, throwing petrol bombs at bystanders, and even setting an old man on fire. So similarly, to answer your question, am I going to respond to those political demands in order to solve this problem? But don't the protesters have the basis for the grievances against the police, for the force that's been used on the people? Well, one has to look at the perspective. I'm afraid that in many of the reports that uh, many people have watched, they, they, they were based on certain video clips and a particular still photo and came to the conclusion that there has been some wrongdoings by the police. But if you look at the overall contest, the police were there enforcing the law. The police were there dealing with large numbers of protesters who are so ready to resort to violence. 10,000 petrol you, you, bombs You, you acknowledge there's yeah. been wrongdoing, yet only one policeman has been taken to task. No one's suspended. I mean, how do you explain the uh, situation? I, I'm not... I'm not um, I'm not accepting that there has been wrongdoing. I'm telling you that if there are wrongdoings by policemen in the course of law enforcement, these policemen will similarly be subject to the scrutiny of the law. They are not above the law. We have seen that happening during Occupy Central movement and other protests. Eight policemen have been prosecuted, convicted and imprisoned. So we do have that system, a fair system in place. So we could not just uh, throw away a system and then bring in another system. I, I have to ask myself whether that's in the overall interest of are Hong you, Kong. Are you willing to take those who have done wrong to task? Hong Kong abides by the rule of law. It's not a question of the willingness. Do you see that happening? It has, taking... well, it has to be subject to a detailed investigation. And by the way, if I may just clarify, under the basic law, that same very important document, the chief executive does not have any say over prosecution. Prosecution decisions are made by the Department of Justice without any interference. And then cases are brought before the courts.